Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CX6 tutorial. And what we're going to go over today is color keying in After Effects. And we're going to use the effect called Color Key. When you have some video footage in your, um, in your comp here, you can, if I watch this, you, I can see that it moves around a lot. Now, what I want to do first is um, kind of suppress the amount of um, green screen that we actually have to key out by creating a mask around this uh, object that we're keying out. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just come out to where I think it's like it points out the farthest like it goes out pretty far right here and then I'll make a, a mask and this is called a garbage mask. So I got this shape here. Now I've cut out the amount of green screen that I actually have to key out. Now if I need to, I can animate the mask uh, path. Let me open it up. Animate the mask path if the gun actually moves out of the mask path there, or out of the garbage mat there. And it looks like it, oh no, it comes close. So it looks like we're probably good for this. Now if you want to you can animate the points to follow this a little bit more but I mean that you're gonna have to key out this part anyways for um, this section here so it doesn't really matter. So what we're gonna do now is apply our key and uh, we can apply it right to the footage if you want. Go effect, um, keying and then let's go to color key and we've got our key color here and all we need to do is take our dropper and click on the dropper here and we want to select this green and I like to select it pretty close to um, pretty close to the actual object so we selected it there now all we need to do is move this color tolerance button here and it starts eating away at the green and once we get it to a decent amount here so we've got it to a uh, pretty decent amount and if we go in and look there's still some on the edges uh, we've got this um, edge thin over here that we can use to increase or to decrease it on the edges so if I put one in it'll bring it down that much and maybe two so at two it starts eating a little bit into the gun um, but we notice that it's uh, a little more prevalent over here in this so maybe we can try to take our dropper and drop on this color so we got that and then increase oh I clicked on the wrong thing it looks like well Let's just uh, increase our color tolerance a little more. Oh, there we go. Now, there we go. It's it ate in uh, the arm a little bit. Um, if there's a little bit of green left on the edge, that's fine for now. Because the next effect that we're going to add on will uh, suppress the edges there. And uh, go into your effects and presets over here and type in spill. And uh, spill suppressor will come up. It's under keying. So the same place that we got the color key, we can get the spill suppressor. Let's drag that over onto our layer. And um, if we zoom in to the edges here, we can see there's still some green. And we've got a decent amount of green on this. So let's uh, pick our green again by using the dropper tool. Come over here and we'll pick this green. And it's uh, changed it to like a little, uh, kind of like a black. Now if we move the uh, suppression here, we can uh, change how much green is actually in. So it kind of changes the green to uh, what's all along the edges. So I mean, up higher is probably better. So let's try maybe 150. You can go all the way up to 200 and that's it. If you try to use this slider, the slider only goes to 100. So that's just use uh, from 0 to 200. I don't know if you can go beyond. 
No, you can't. So it's 0 to 200. So now we've got something that's uh, been keyed out and uh, kind of looks uh, fairly decent. The uh, actual color key here is not the best thing to use, but it's quick and uh, it's easy. I'll go over this edge feather real quick. I have never used edge feather when I'm trying to um, key because I don't know, it just doesn't look good, but you can do that and feather out the edges. Um, sometimes uh, companies will do that, or like studios will do that if they're on like a cheap budget and uh, the uh, client doesn't like care too much about it. Also, uh, sometimes when you're um, keying, it eats away like at the edge of the um, at the edge of the object there and maybe you can throw like a little bit of a feather on there to like smooth it out just a little bit. I wonder if you can even do 0.5. Yeah, you can. So that, I mean, you can use it for that. So we've got this uh, heat out. It's ready to throw onto a background if we wanted to. So if I go to layer new solid and just add any type of background, we'll make it like some kind of red or whatever. Put it below. Now it's going to be over top. Now if we go ahead and look at our alpha channel here and turn off the red, we can see that we've created an alpha channel with the color key there. So um, that's how uh, that color keying works and that's uh, really uh, quick using the basic color key effect in After Effects and then there's other kinds of uh, color keying methods in After Effects that uh, are a little bit better. Um, this key light right here is really nice and I use that most of the time when I'm uh, color keying and I'll go over that in, an, in another tutorial. So thanks for watching this one everybody. Have a good one. Uh, we'll see you on the next uh, keying tutorial.